Hello traders, this is Tuesday and we are with the Wall Street pre-market video ahead of the opening bell. Following the rally seen last week, stocks turned in a relatively lackluster performance during trading yesterday on Monday. The major averages spent much of the day lingering near the unchanged line before closing mixed. So the Dow Jones, uh, let's put the DIA here on the five minute chart, actually a closed day down, close of the day in the red following 0.05%. The tech heavy Nasdaq led the way. This is the triple Q, a very nice action climbing 0.29%, uh, while the S&P 500, the SPY, rose 0.17%, finishing the day at the high, in, near the high of the day. So as you will be able to see on the daily chart of the S&P 500, um, both the S&P and the Nasdaq, right now we have five consecutive winning days in a row since the start of the year 2018. One, two, three, four, five in a row. So we can absolutely say the market's strong momentum continued, although its advance slowed to a crawl. Um, so, so, so we had a big move, you know, last week, and everyone knows earnings is coming up this Friday with the big banks posting their earnings. People don't want to chase too much further when you have around fundamental inputs in the next uh, few weeks. Considering the backdrop of the stock moving technology event CES 2018, which is taking place in Las Vegas and opened yesterday, the technology stocks led the charge uh, yesterday with big cap names like Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, also Nvidia, and even Tesla, we will get back to Tesla later, up 6.6% yesterday, they all were driving uh, the force. The S&P right now on the daily chart from a technical point of view um, is very stretched and extended right now, but as you can see right now, let's uh, take a look from September, very extended right now, but I have to tell you something. The biggest mistake a trader can do is thinking, is thinking about shorting this market. Markets that are this strong don't just suddenly collapse. One of the most common trading mistakes of 2000, 2017 was constantly trying to anticipate a market top. Time and, ag and again, when the market appeared extended, it would continue to run higher. And when it did finally pause, there would be no major downside action. So the easy thing to do, you know, is just to say that the market strength can't last. That is what plenty of traders will do. The hard thing is to stay with the momentum, with the flow, with the charge, and to keep on pushing for more. Being greedy when the market is trending is the way to deal with momentum, is the way to deal with a market like this. I believe it is likely we will see some corrective action later this January. I don't know what will be um, the trigger for it or when even it might take place, when it might occur. So I'm not going to do anything to actually act on that gut feeling, but it is far more important right now, you know, to stay with the stocks that are working well. Okay, trade of the day, and let's take a look on a couple of stocks we traded, traded yesterday in our trading room. And I want to teach you a very simple yet powerful technique which will help you to find the right time to strike on a stock with a firepower movement. So first of all, let's go to WTW, which soared yesterday by more than 12%. And the great thing was most of the action, as you can see right now on the five minute chart, um, was actually an intraday action. Now, many times when you see a stock posting gains of 10 plus percent, a big chunk of it is due to a pre-market gap, which is an inaccessible movement for day traders like us. I just love it when you get the whole meal, the whole movement on a plate like we had on WTW yesterday. Now, after the first boom bar, and, and go with me on, on, on this chart, after the first five minute bar, which is what we designate as a boom bar, 
which also took place, as you can see, with a larger than average volume, I waited for an opportunity on this one. Now, WTW is one of the stocks that have the ability to run all day. It's just a matter of being focused and waiting for the right moment to strike. Usually around the opening and through the first 30 minutes of the day, I'm watching stocks, I, I'm following stocks using one mini chart. And many times you will get on these time frame setups, which are just invisible in any larger time frames, not even uh, on the five minutes uh, time frame. Um, now, so, so let's just switch right now to uh, switch to the one minute chart and let's understand a very simple yet powerful um, concept. I'm using a concept I teach my traders um, to, 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 to play and use every day and this is the two to five bars pullback. Um, this is a very simple concept which works great on any time frame. When you have a clear directional movement, I mean a firepower in one direction, right? Wait for two to five consecutive opposite bars. So, so, so that means if you have an uptrend or an, a, a very powerful momentum to the upside, you are waiting to, between two to five consecutive red bars. And the first green bar, the first green bar is a Bible bar, is your green light to strike. Now, usually I want the pullback to be made with tiny bars, much smaller than the bars that drove the main action earlier. So this is on the one minute chart WTW. These are the powerful bars to the upside. And here I'm waiting between two to five consecutive bars in our case, red bar. So this is the first bar, second, third, fourth. And this is the first green bar after the four consecutive red bars. This is when I strike. Usually I will place a buy order above the high of uh, this bar. That means above 48.11 with a stop loss, couple of cents below the low of the bar, uh, around 47.90. So this is a play with about 20 cent um, stop loss. So the stock went side away for a couple of uh, bars, but then bang up to the up, uh, up to the upside. Now let's switch for one minute chart to a five minute chart on the same play on the same on the same stock, and you will see how powerful it is. So on the five minute chart, it has a one way ticket to heavens, one way ticket to the upside to the moon. Uh, without any pauses. Uh, so actually it goes from $47 almost up to $54. So this is a huge movement of about $7 without any pause. But if you are with me on that, you will see that on a five minute chart, we have one red bar, second, the first, the first, the second, the third. This is the Babel bar, green bar, the green light to strike on that one. So you can go, you can even take this pullback and strike around 51.74 and get the whole movement till almost 54. Another pullback, one, two, three, four, between two to five consecutive red bars. And this is the green bar um, to strike. Let's take a look on other stock yesterday with the same concept. This is WUBA, W-U-B-A. This is the powerful movement to the upside. Nice green fat um, bars, much larger than uh, the bars to, this, to, 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 to the left. And then I'm just waiting for a pullback to be made. One, two, three. Remember, between, uh, between two to five consecutive opposite bars. One, two, three, four, five, and bang. This is when I'm stuck. Now, you won't have Many times you won't have an immediate action like, like we saw on earlier on WTW and on WUBA. It goes sideways a little bit, but then you have a continuation, right? And continuation to the upside. And that appeared to be a very good place to, uh, to, 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 go, to, to go long from 81, 83, you know, up to 84. That is almost um, $3 from WUBA. Let's also take a look on Tesla, which had a great day yesterday, up more than 6.5% on 
also a very powerful um, opening, a very powerful start of uh, the day, and just go to the upside up until 11 o'clock Eastern time. This is one and a half hours into the training day. But then we have three red bars pullback. One, two, three, between two to five consecutive opposite bars. And this is the first green bar, is a viable one. This is where we strike and what a great movement, what a great wave um, to trade. It goes and plays the same also when a stock is going down. That means shorting a stock and let's see how it plays on play. So play actually started the day yesterday on a very strong down note, uh, opening with a huge gap to the downside and very powerful bars, uh, red bars um, to open uh, the day. So uh, I'm just waiting for between two to five green bars, consecutive green bars, and here I have the first one and the second, so consecutive green bar, the opposite bars of the main direction, and the red bar right now is a shortable uh, a bar, so I'm just striking here around for, below 46.50, let's say, shorting this uh, play on below 46.50, and you know, just driving um, the movement to the downside, and that stock finished below 44, this is more than two and a half uh, dollars to into your pocket. So a very powerful um, a, and simple concept and try it or already um, today. All right, hot stocks on the radar for Tuesday. First of all, looking ahead, trading activity on Tuesday may remain relatively subdued Amid another quiet day on the U.S. economic uh, front, we have the NFIB Small Business Optimism Index um, releasing at 6 a.m. Eastern Time, well ahead of the opening bell, which is set to post a new high reading of 107.9. And then the Jolts data on hiring at 10 o'clock, 30 minutes into the trading day. Couple of hot stocks uh, to put on our screens today. First of all, URBN, which reported disappointing holiday sales that sent shares falling more than 6% in the after the bell um, action. Another stock which usually has low volume, but that can pick up today is A. Schulman, S-H-L-M. A. Schulman um, gained more than 5% in the after hours session. This plastic uh, manufacturing company reported first quarter financial results after the bell that included 10% growth in net sales year over year. Have a great trading day, guys, and I'll see you in our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.